Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. So uh, in this video, we will continue with the ratio analysis. So uh, today, um, uh, in this video, we will discuss uh, liquidity ratio. So whenever we talk about liquidity ratio, so uh, the major ratios under liquidity ratio are uh, net working capital ratio, cash, uh, cash ratio, quick ratio, which is also called uh, asset test ratio and uh, current ratio. So these are the uh, major uh, ratios which generally uh, comes under liquidity ratio. So today with the help of some uh, cases, we will uh, understand uh, these particular ratios and I'll give you some examples. So you can also practice uh, and you can also solve the um, numericals based on uh, liquidity ratio. Okay. So in our previous video, we generally uh, talk about the uh, uh, introduction of uh, ratio analysis. What is uh, ratio analysis and what is the implications and what is the uses and need of ratio analysis? What are what are the basic objective we, we generally achieve uh, through uh, ratio analysis? So uh, now um, we will uh, discuss the technical part of uh, or the technicality of uh, ratio analysis. And as I told you, we have number of ratios. So um, today we will start with the liquidity ratio. In next video, we'll talk about solvency. Then we'll, uh, uh, we'll discuss activity, profitability and market prospect ratio. And what all these are ratios, we already discussed in uh, the introduction part. So that is, that was generally, that video is generally based on the fundamental of uh, ratio analysis, the importance, need, objective and all. And now we'll uh, come to the uh, technicality of uh, these particular ratios. Okay. So we will start with the uh, uh, liquidity ratio and the first one and the most important. Okay. And uh, the only request to all of you guys, please uh, do like and do share the session with your friends. So other can also um, uh, take the benefit of these particular session. And if you are new to my channel, please uh, do subscribe. Okay. So first thing we have on the screen that is... Uh, what is uh, liquidity ratio okay so as i earlier told you in our introduction part we uh, i already introduced this particular one so liquidity ratio these are the ratios which generally help you to identify the ability of a company to it to meet its uh, debt obligation by using current asset okay so whenever we talk about the current asset it include uh, cash uh, cash equivalent, short term investments or uh, account receivables. So these are generally part of your uh, current assets. Okay. So um, liquidity ratio by using these particular ratios, you will be able to identify uh, your company's um, ability to meet its uh, uh, debt obligation or we can say short term debt obligations. Okay. So how liquid, like how much liquid asset you have in your organization or uh, how efficiently you can convert these particular asset into um, cash and how you can meet your short term debt obligation. So that is uh, generally part of your liquidity asset. So here we have number of uh, number of uh, ratios like we have current ratio, we have asset test ratio, we have quick ratio, net working capital ratio. So these are some major ratios which generally comes under liquidity ratio. So we will start one by one with the um, uh, defined cases as well. So we will solve some problems. So it will give you better understanding toward these particular ratios. Okay. So liquidity ratio are helpful in determining the um, ability of a company to meet its uh, debt obligation, basically short term debt obligation by using current asset. Okay. So uh, current asset will generally include uh, the cash, uh, payment receivables or uh, equivalent to cash or marketable securities. So these are generally part of your current asset. Okay. So they are uh, divided um, or uh, classified under different different ratios. So we have current ratio, we have cash ratio, quick ratio and net working capital ratio. So these are four uh, most important or major ratios which generally comes under liquidity ratio. Okay. So we will start with current ratio. So first one is current ratio under liquidity ratio. Okay. So a current ratio shows the financial capacity uh, of a company to clear uh, to clear off the uh, current obligation by using current asset. So there is one thing guys you need to know first like the formula is 
करेंट एसेट डिवाइड बाय करेंट लाइबिलिटीज नाउ व्हाट आर करेंट एसेट्स सो व्हाट आर करेंट एसेट्स एंड व्हाट आर करेंट लाइबिलिटीज सो यू नीड टू नो अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग बिकॉज इफ यू विल हैव अ क्लैरिटी सो यू विल यू विल बी एबल टू मेक राइट एंट्रीज और टू पिक राइट एंट्री सो करेंट एसेट व्हिच जनरली इंक्लूड कैश प्लस कैश इक्विवेलेंट कैश इक्विवेलेंट शॉर्ट टर्म शॉर्ट टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट शॉर्ट टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट और इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड अकाउंट रिसीवेबल्स ओके एंड इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड प्रीपेड एक्सपेंसिस okay so these are generally part of your uh, current uh, assets so these are the major head under current asset if you talk about the current liabilities i'll mention here okay so current liabilities under this particular one we have uh, like uh, payables okay payable and uh, we have uh, payroll dues payroll dues which which includes salaries and other things okay we have uh, payroll taxes payroll taxes which again part of this one okay we have uh, income tax again part of this one income taxes and we have um, interest major head as interest also interest payable basically okay and we have utility expenses i hope you getting my handwriting okay uh, apart from that we have like rent and others okay so uh, whenever you talk about current ratio it is um, a financial capacity of a company to clear pay or to uh, clear off or to pay off the current obligation like if you are running some organizations so you have some expenses which is like uh, the uh, like these are kind of monthly exp monthly expenses okay like payroll uh, payables okay uh, any uh, payables uh, including uh, payroll dues salaries and all and payroll taxes income tax interest payment rent payment utility expenses so these are generally part of your current liabilities and to uh, to uh, meet these particular liabilities or to pay off these particular liabilities you have some assets in your organizations like these are cash cash equivalent or marketable securities short term investment account receivables prepaid expenses which like um, prepaid expenses for rent or for any other thing okay so these are generally part of here, this one so if you divide current asset this divide by current liabilities so outcome is your Um, uh that that ratio is generally known as current ratio i hope uh, you guys uh, are clearly getting this particular thing okay so uh, i'll i'll give a case so on the basis of this particular case you will be able to uh, make your understanding the, uh, uh, towards the uh, current ratio so you just need to remember this formula so this is very simple one current asset divided by current liabilities okay so here we have two cases one is company x and another one is company y okay so company x like cash 80000 then we have um, uh, uh, sundry debtors 120000 we have a uh, uh, stock in trade 360000 prepaid expenses 40000 so total current asset if you add all these so your total current asset is 6 lakh rupees and for this company it is 8 lakh rupees okay and current liabilities on this company x is 2 lakh rupees and uh, company y is uh, 4 lakh rupees so now the formula is uh, like you have this formula current asset which is uh, 6 lakh rupees current asset which is uh, 6 lakh rupees so 6 lakh divided by 2 lakh so 6 lakh divided by 2 lakh so your outcome is 3.1 the ratio is 3.1 3 is your outcome so the ratio is 3.1 in case of uh, company x similarly for company y it is uh, uh, 
uh, like 8 lakh divided by 4 lakh which is 2.1 so this is the current ratio in case of company x and y so very simple the only thing you need to know you need uh, like uh, you need a basic understanding towards the uh, current assets and current liabilities so when you pick that particular thing from um, your uh, balance sheet so you have to be very careful okay so if you know that particular thing if you remember these particular things you will be able to answer these questions so current asset is like uh, these are the this is the list these are the major items under current asset or uh, current liabilities these are the current liabilities okay so this way you can understand now the implication is if current asset is uh, equal more than equal to one so this is a positive side but if it is less than equal to one it's a negative side okay so if any company's uh, current asset is less than one or lower than one it is it is means uh, the company's uh, it, it generally represent a uh, company's financial performance are poor okay so uh, like whenever we consider these particular things like whenever you use uh, these ratios uh, uh, for uh, investment purpose or for your uh, business operation purpose so you need to take care about these things so higher the current ratio which is uh, the positive side for that particular company because they have more amount in their hand to uh, meet with uh, their uh, current liabilities okay so this means one uh, one's liability to pay off the present time uh, monetary obligation with their assets so if you talk about the current asset it measure by the dividing current asset or we already gone through this particular one i hope you get this particular thing clearly so simple one so you have to like whenever you practice these particular things so you, you can take some cases just you can make some entries on the basis of these particular entries or like if you you can pick any balance sheet or profit and loss account of any company then you can uh, uh, you can solve that particular one in examination as well they'll give you some entries like sometime they'll give you direct uh, uh, direct uh, question so the uh, total current asset of a uh, company is uh, this amount and the total liabilities is this so what is the current ratio uh, for that particular company so i hope you're getting this one or sometime they make that particular question complicated complex so they'll give you multiple entries like um, rent receivable, rent payable or salary payable or um, taxes dues and then you have to calculate the uh, uh, current ratio on given uh, uh, on these given data. So, okay. so if you if you still have some cases please do mention in comment section I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll try to solve your queries okay and one more thing guys I'll come with the MCQ session based on ratio analysis. So where we'll discuss number of question based on uh, current ratio or uh, the other ratio as well. Okay, let's move to the next question. Uh, next ratio. So next ratio under liquidity ratio is cash ratio or e cash equivalent ratio. Cash and equivalent ratio. Okay. So cash, you understand what is cash. Now equivalent, which is which we can easily convert into cash, like marketable securities. Okay. So which can be converted into cash or uh, at a uh, like at, uh, you know very uh, short time duration so that is equivalent okay so cash or equivalent ratio measure a company's most liquid asset like a uh, cash and equivalent to uh, the entire current liabilities of the uh, concern company so now you know the liabilities current liabilities so what are the current liabilities you understand that particular one okay so now this is like in uh, previous ratio we calculate the current assets divided by current liabilities now uh, this is cash or equivalent or like the most liquid asset of that particular company so liquid means cash and equivalent so which can be easily converted into cash so that is uh, equivalent or uh, uh, equivalent or cash to equivalents or cash equivalents okay so now it is measured by following formula so cash ratio the formula is cash and equivalent cash or you can say cash plus equivalent marketable securities in all divided by current liabilities current liabilities you know like uh, uh, payroll dues uh, salaries uh, rent uh, or any other utility expenses so these all are the part of your current liabilities okay so on the basis of this we'll solve a case so it will give you more uh, clarity okay so cash let's say there is a case uh, there is a company there is a xyz company so uh, here we you can see the cash is the uh, uh, 50000 
and cash equivalent is 20,000. So this plus this is 70,000. Okay. And uh, the current liabilities are 1 lakh. So in this case, current liabilities are 1 lakh. So 70 uh, divided by 1 lakh, which is equal to 0 0.07. So 70 divided by 1 lakh equal to 0 0.70. So this is the case of your cash or equivalent ratio. Okay. So cash equivalent ratio, cash plus equivalent divided by total current liabilities. So that is uh, by using this formula, you can calculate cash or equivalent form, uh, ratio. So this is very simple guys like uh, most of time I heard uh, like when I teach students they generally they generally have a fear about ratio analysis. This is just a number game you just need to remember the formulas and you just need to pick right entries from your sheet okay. So if you pick if you if you have a clarity about uh, equivalent asset cash equivalent or if you have a clarity about the uh, current assets current liabilities so you can just you need to remember this formula if you remember the formula you can easily calculate uh, these particular figures okay let's move to the next one quick ratio or at SS, uh, test ratio so this is so many time examiner asked this question okay so this is one of the most favorite uh, ratio analysis which is uh, so many time examiner they interview they also ask this particular question or in examination as well so they ask question based on um, asset test ratio that is also known as quick ratio so it is uh, uh, another liquidity ratio that determine company's uh, current um, available liquidity. So it is uh, easily like whenever we talk about the liquidity. So it means uh, assets which can easily convert it into cash. So this is the basic meaning of this term liquidity. Okay. So uh, it include cash and marketable sec securities and same. Okay. So qu quick ratio equal to quick asset divided by quick liabilities. Okay. So quick asset I already uh, gave you that name and quick liabilities I already gave you the name so this is a very simple one so quick here I'll uh, further explain this one so quick asset so what comes under quick asset so all current asset plus uh, minus stock inventories are not part of this one please do remember this one okay so in we cannot uh, convert inventories into uh, um, cash because like we that we can but it is not fixed okay so that's why they are not part of uh, your um, uh, current asset prepaid expenses is also uh, uh, minus from this one okay and liabilities are current liabilities all current liabilities minus bank overdraft and uh, cash credit so if you know these particular things you can easily answer the question okay so i'll give you one case so here we have a case of uh, let's say xyz company so cash and equivalent is uh, 50,000 short term investment 10,000 short term investment which is basically uh, like let, let's say if that company invested in some shares so they can easily convert that particular one into cash okay so that is short term investment okay uh, receivables so they have a uh, 2000 rupees receivable from XYZ uh, person or XYZ company so again that is part of your current uh, asset inventories as i earlier told you so inventories are not part of your uh, current asset please do remember this one okay so inventories are not part of your current asset so it will be a minus from your this entries other current assets so 8900 so this uh, plus this plus this plus this so the total amount is 75918 rupees and current liabilities after adding the uh, payroll or payables or the salaries or the payroll taxes, income taxes, utility expenses or any other expenses or any other current expenses of that particular company. The total amount is 36,450 rupees. So now the uh, now you can easily cal calculate asset test ratio. So it is uh, a quick asset. So your quick asset are 75,918 divided by current uh, liabilities which is 36,450 rupees so your outcome in this case is 1.86 so this is your quick uh, ratio or asset test ratio for this given case okay so here you can see this uh, example as well so they have included the excel sheet so as per b b5 is uh, cash and equivalent b6 is short term investment b7 is receivable b9 so they ignore they minus b8 because it is it is inventory so it is not part of your uh, uh, short term assets okay current asset so uh, 
B9 other uh, current asset so these plus uh, these all after adding all these divide by uh, B11 that is your total liability so the outcome is this uh, uh, quick ratio for uh, the given company I hope you guys getting these particular things the only funda is to solve uh, uh, these uh, ratios two things that is very important one is you need a basic understanding towards these particular entries okay so like as I gave you earlier like examiner they can ask you question based on like uh, they can ask simple question this is the current asset and this is the current liabilities calculate a quick ratio or asset test ratio so the, your journey become very simple but they can also ask they can give you a case so cash equivalent is this this after like you have to calculate the current uh, 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 you have to calculate the quick ratio from the given case so now here or even more entries that can that can um, make that particular case complex so you need a basic understanding toward these particular entries and second thing is you need uh, to remember this formula so if you remember formula you can easily calculate that particular number okay so first you can make a list of uh, these particular uh, formulas and uh, uh, if you have a basic understanding then you can solve multiple question and if you stuck with any cases you can send it to me so uh, i created a telegram channel as well so where, uh, that is gib cib prep by my sir so if you'll follow that particular one you you can find that particular telegram channel in uh, uh, telegram group in uh, description okay so you can join that particular and you can send me your cases or you can ask your queries okay so next one is networking capital ratio this is a very simple one current asset uh, divided by minus uh, current uh, liabilities okay so it is used to determine whether a company has a sufficient cash or fund to continue its operation or not so net working capital so working capital is something related to your operations okay so uh, uh, with the help of net working capital ratio you you will know like that particular company have the enough amount in their hand to run that particular business or business operation okay so it is measured uh, by uh, current asset minus current liabilities this is very simple one okay so i'll uh, we will discuss this one with the help of case so here the only thing is like first thing you need to remember formula so formula is very easy in this particular case now the second thing is you need a clarity about these particular uh, entries so if you have a clear vision about like cash account receivable inventories so these are the part of this one so this there is a uh, so it is it is not a quick asset test ratio so that's why they included inventories okay and current liabilities in that particular organization these so uh, if you talk about 80,000 minus 40,000 so 40,000 is your working capital in this particular case I hope you get this particular thing clearly so networking working capital is uh, the capital which is required to run the day-to-day -day operation of any business okay so in this particular case they have 40,000 in their hand to run the business now they can calculate let's say if the uh, monthly expense of that particular organization is 10,000 so they can easily run their business till four months with this particular money okay so they have like they have four months uh, to run out uh, uh, from capital okay so working capital so they have four, uh, enough money they have four months money so they can make plan accordingly and they can uh, work on their revenue so they can increase this particular one okay so uh, out of uh, if you talk about the liquidity ratio these three are the most important so many time examiner they generally ask question based on uh, these one so these are generally part of liquidity ratio so liquidity ratios so first one is current ratio current asset divided by current liabilities only thing the formula is very simple you need to know what are the current assets and what are the current liabilities and you can uh, easily solve that particular one. quick ratio current asset minus inventories divided by current liabilities so here we generally minus inventory in this particular case and cash ratio cash plus equivalent plus short term investment divided by uh, uh, current liabilities so with the help of these particular one you can easily calculate the uh, given cases as well okay so in next video we will discuss uh, solvency ratio so solvency that is something uh, a company's ability to meet uh, its uh, long-term debt so it is something related to long-term uh, 
uh, fate of that any uh, company. Okay, so a company's uh, uh, tend to meet its long term uh, debt requirement. So that is something related to a uh, solvency. So we have debt ratio, we have uh, equity ratio or debt to equity ratio or interest coverage ratio, which generally comes under solvency ratio. So we will uh, in next video, I'll uh, we will discuss all these and with the help of some cases, so you can easily understand these uh, particular issues as well. Okay, so uh, guys, I hope uh, you enjoy uh, the video. So if you like, please uh, do share with your friends so they can also take benefit of these particular one. And uh, uh, in the description, I'll share my Telegram uh, group name or group link so you can join that particular one. And if you have let's say when you uh, when you uh, plan your study when you are studying these particular thing if you face any problem so you can uh, send me screenshot um, on that particular group or even like if you need a pdf for any classes so you can mention so i'll uh, pass on those particular one okay the only request is uh, please uh, do like and do share this session and if you are new to my channel please uh, do subscribe and uh, sharing is caring so if your friends are preparing for a GIB, CIB or a RBA grade B or any other government examination so please do share this one this uh, channel link with uh, these particular friends so they can also uh, uh, subscribe and they can also watch these particular videos okay so this is it from my side uh, I'll see you uh, uh, in next video where we will discuss uh, solvency ratio and uh, ratios which generally comes under solvency. So uh, till now, till that time, uh, bye bye, take care all, have a nice day, thank you.